so my start my session so is it my voice is audible to everyone my start my session please respond to anyone chat box my start my session yeah thank you okay in the last class we are discussing about the indexing and hashing also okay in this class we will try to complete our syllabus today so for before going to that so today i'm just uh, showing show to uh, our syllabus today so if you observe here so this is our syllabus okay i hope all the members able to see clearly so if you observe this we are observing this yeah here observe the first unit so in the case of first unit we are discussing about what is a database management system and what are the characteristics of the database management system and database users am right so database users and uh, uh, advantages of dbms and applications of the dbms and concept of schema am right three tier architecture and database system structure so nothing but architecture and centralized and client server architecture so all these are we are discussed no pending and at the same time relational model so in that relational model just we are discussing about the terminology what is a domain what is attribute what is tuple okay so and uh, what are the integrity constraints types of integrity constraints and we are using some basic sql functions also right so and in the case uh, here also we are not uh, maintaining any type of the pending so in the case of third unit er model so how we are uh, developing that er models and uh, another part is related to the sql so in that one here uh, how we are implementing the key integrity constraints nested queries sub queries grouping aggregation ordering so all these are also we are covered different types of joins and views are also we are discussed so relational set means nothing but union intersect except like that so in this unit also we are not uh, maintaining any pending and schema refinement here so this is only two parts one part is related to the what is a normalization okay what is the purpose of normalization and second thing is related to the normal form this is also completed so in the case of 15 it so please try to observe clearly in this unit so here i am not explaining the duplicated topics please try to observe this okay transaction state implementation of atomicity and durability okay uh concurrent execution serializability recoverability implementation of isolation testing for serializability failure classification storage recovery and atomicity recovery algorithm so here also we are discussed everything but we are we are not uh, clearly mention about uh, so how we are implementing the atomicity and durability uh, specifically why because we also know about that what is atomicity and what is durability so how we are implementing that simple so what is the property how we are maintaining the what are the examples for we are mentioned in the case of atomicity and durability so those things are also maintained there and in the case of implementation of isolation so when we are allow more than one transaction at a time here we need to provide some isolation between them so so we try to give some example so and another thing in the case of index checking so we already discussing about this b plus trees and how we are search the required item how we are insert how we are delete so each and everything we need to give some example okay i will try to send the material don't worry about that okay next file organization and indexing here uh, here also we are not uh, focus on to the duplicated things file organization and indexing is also we are discussed cluster index discussed primary and secondary indexes are discussed okay next index data structure here we are we need to discuss about the hash based indexing and tree based indexing so nothing but here tree based indexing means nothing but b plus tree uh index structure we are already discussing about that that is related with the tree based indexing 
okay no need to we are uh, discussing about uh, again so another one hash based indexing in the last class we are uh, completing now just only we are having the pending topic and comparison of file organizations so in the case of file organization and indexing we are consider different types of uh, file organizations which type of file is best so which type of uh, accessing is best so in which type of we are inserting the record and in which type of we are returning the records from that so i'm right so and index and performance tuning here also we are so which type of indexing is best okay so so those type of things are considered so that's why here only we are having only one topic so that is hash based indexing okay please remember this and don't try to get confused okay and one more thing i will try to uh, explain the lamp syllabus also so from the monday onwards i will try to uh, discuss with the i will try to discuss with the lamp syllabus so if you observe here so almost we are completing this but we are not starting from the fifth program onwards so that's the problem so we are observe here so creation altering dropping tables so nothing but here we are using ddl and dml commands so in the case of second thing any all in exist not exists union intersect so all these are also we have discussed and if you are observe the third one aggregate functions are also discussed group by discussed having class also i am showing in the uh, lab point of view and in the case of uh, fourth one string functions state functions okay so numeric functions so all these are we have discussed already so from the fifth program so we are not uh, touch that topic okay so just i try to revise these four sessions so these four exercises in the monday okay i will try to complete the monday okay uh, and next so we will start from the fifth so here uh, we need to discuss about the plsql program okay how we are using the loops how we are uh, using the how we are uh, raising the rest how we are using the functions how we are uh, maintaining the triggers so okay all these type of topics we have discussed in the lab session okay i hope all of the members are able to understood what i am saying up to now so still we are having only one one pro one uh, topic is pending so that is hash based indexing okay so now we try to discuss about that we are going to discuss about that please just wait your minute if you hang any type of the doubts you can contact me personally also no problem okay i hope all of the staff faculty members completing the syllabus right so better you try to practice from your home so and you please try to uh, revision from the first unit onwards okay so it will be helpful for you for the exams okay uh, i think uh, we will be start the classes online classes for, for lab sessions from monday onwards okay uh, today we will try to complete the syllabus of this dbms subject okay okay so if, i think you are able to see the screen clearly hashing okay what is a hashing so in the last classes we are discussing about this so we are already discussing about the indexing also what is the indexing indexing is used for we are based upon the some key so that key value is used to find out the data so where where is the location of the data data so the those type of indexes are we are easily retrieving the data from the database am right so here hashing is also performing the same thing but it is better than the indexing so nothing but it will be improving the search process okay so if you observe here in a few structure it is very efficient to search all the index values and reach the desired data so nothing but in huge database structure it is very inefficient to search all the index values and reach the desired data so that means when we are consider large amount of data so then indexes are not efficient to retrieving the data so at that time of the situation we are based upon to the hashing technique okay hashing technique is used to calculate the direct location of the data record on the disk without using the index structure so nothing but so without using the index structure here we are able to finding the direct location of the data okay so that is possible through using the hashing technique 
I hope all of the members able to clear this. Okay, in this technique, data is stored at the data blocks whose address is generated by using the hashing function. So this is the one of the keyword. So when we are using the hashing, okay. So here one of the keyword is hashing function. Why? What is the purpose of this hashing function? So this is used to store the data blocks. So nothing but where we are locating the data. So that will be decided by the hashing function. The memory location where these records are stored known as data bucket or data blocks. So nothing but what is a data block means nothing but. So that will be maintaining the record. So nothing but the memory location where these records are stored. So nothing but here each and every bucket will be storing the data or data block. Okay. In this hash function can choose any of the column value to generate the address. So most of the time hash function uses the primary key to generate the address of the data block. So nothing but here we are using primary key to generate the address or maybe the hashing function. A hash function is a simple mathematical function to any complex mathematical function. We can even consider the primary key itself, the address of the data block. That means each row whose address will be same as the primary key stored in the red data block. Okay. Now, please observe the diagram. So in this chapter, uh, we need you need to remember these diagrams also. Why? Because so in the exam point of view, uh, you should be represent the diagrams also. Okay. Don't forget this and please practice these type of diagrams. So when you are uh, free, when you are having the free time, so I think you are having the classes from nine to three. I'm right. So you are free from the three onwards. So better you try to practice some diagrams from the 6 p.m. from your home. So whatever it may be the subject. So better you try to practice. So what you are learned today from the online classes. So those type of things you are practice. So if you are doing the practice in the same way, so then you, you will be get good marks in the exam point of view, okay? If you are observed here, so uh, here we are based upon the data records, 98, 103, 106, 104, 102. So here we are directly based upon the primary key value, data bucket. So data bucket maintaining the record of this particular value. So it, it will be having the actual data is there. So 100, John, Dilly. So these things are, we are maintaining and uh, this will be used like as index. And 103 stored at the 103, 106 stored at the 106, 104 stored at the 104. If you are using, if you are creating another one, so then that will be located at the 102, okay? So the above diagram shows data block address same as the primary key value. This cache function can also be simple mathematical function like exponential, mod, cos, sine, etc. Suppose we have mod 5 function. Determine the address of the data block. In this case, it applied mod 5. Hash function on the primary key is generated 3, 3, 1, 4, and 2 respectively, and records are stored in the data block address. So just to try to observe. So 98, am right? So 98, what is the mod value here? So for example, okay, 98 by 5. So what is the remainder? What is the remainder? I think 20 into 5 is 100. I'm right. So 19 into 5. What's the value? 95. I'm right. Then what is the remainder? 3. I'm right. So then it will be stored at the 3. So nothing but this is the mod 5. In the same way, if we are using the 104, so 20 into 500. So what is the remainder? Four. So it will be placed at the fourth bucket. Okay. So how we are uh, considered this. So here in this example here, we are considered the mod five. So that's why here we are storing into the fourth one. Okay. In the case, uh, in the case of this one. So 106 here, if we are observe here, 21 into five, 105. So then what is the remainder for to this one? So. So placed at the one location. So in the same way, one or two, for example, 20 into 500. So then what's the remainder two? So that will be placed at the two. So in this type of way also, we can place the data records in the memory. Okay. I hope all of the members able to clear this. Am right? 
so better you try to explain every topic with the diagram okay so that is the best way of to representing the content okay now we try to discuss about the types of hashing okay what is a hashing already we are discussing about that hashing is used for to retrieve the data and compare with the index data structure this is the efficient why because this will be suitable for to the large amount of databases also okay so now so here we are considered the two types of hashing are there so that is nothing but static hashing and another one is a dynamic hashing okay in the case of static hashing the name is implies here in the case of static so there is no change in static hashing the resultant data bucket address will always be the same so nothing but here bucket address is not changed so once we are specifying one so then the data will be stored in the one only so there is no changes are occur but in the case of dynamic hashing so it will be changes rapidly at the same time in some type of situation according to the data so bucket size is increased or maybe the decreased okay so that is the main advantage of dynamic hashing so in the case of static hashing memory is loss okay so please uh, please observe once okay in static hashing the resultant data bucket address will always be the same so that means if we generate the address for employee id equal to 1 or 3 so please uh, just uh, observe on the screen in starting hashing the resultant data bucket address will will always be the same so nothing but here the result is always same there is not change okay that means if we generate the address for the employee id so here just assume one employee id is we are uh, considered 1 or 3 using the hash function mod 5 then what is the value 20 into 500 so 3 is the remainder so then that will be stored at the bucket address is 3 so here there will be no change in the bucket address hence in this static hashing the number of data buckets in memory are remains constant throughout throughout in this example we will have the five data blocks in the memory use it to store the data okay please try to observe now Okay, 98 placed at the 3, and 104 placed at the 4, and 106 placed at the 1, and 102 placed at the 2. So now, what are the operations of static hashing? So nothing but the same example is also used for the static hashing. Okay, operations of the static hashing. Searching for a record. So when a record needs to be searched, then the same hash function retrieves the address of the bucket where the data is stored. So nothing but here we are using Here we are using uh, performing this searching, searching with the help of static hashing. Okay, so in, uh, here we are easily search the our record record and insert a record when your new record is inserted into a table. We start to the hash and hash key and record stored in that location. Next, delete a record. To delete a record, we will first fetch the record which is supposed to be deleted. So then we will delete the records for that address in the memory. So nothing but here we need we are able to delete our record record and update record. So we can update any one of the record. Okay. So next to overcome the situations. So nothing but in some type of situations here occurring the buckets overflow. Okay. If you observe here, if we want to insert some new record, please just wait one minute.
so bucket size is same at the same time so those type of orders are not changed but in the case of dynamic hashing here we are changing the data from one bucket to the another bucket if any type of the situation is needed okay in this method data buckets grow or shrink as the records increases or decreases so this method is also known as extendable hashing method are you able to see the screen are you able to see the screen okay 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 so how we are searching the key so first calculate the hash address of the key check how many bits are used in the directory and uh, these bits are called as i so nothing but index take that least significant i bits of the hash address this gives index of the directory now using the index go to the directory and the first bucket address now using the index go to the directory and find the bucket address where the record might be so nothing but here how we are find out our required record in the case of dynamic hashing here we are using directory also so in the directory we are maintaining the index okay here so that's why in the case of dynamic hashing so that is the according to that will be increased that will be increased according to the requirement okay so we will try to discuss the same topic uh, after 10 minutes okay Thank you, thank you, Anand.